Dot is your head's too big. <laughs> and they're off. And Blue Street goes on a win for Hayley Turner, beats Epsintha. Hayley Turner, one of the latest, if you like, in the, the girl riders to sort of come onto the seat. And Bakewell tries to win this very cleverly by a half a length of Daisy Do. And she just picked up, go past him, done it easy, really. And he's coming up to the like, last furlong and he's pushing it on. Hayley Turner, the head turner, wins the Sandringham. She's good fun, she's very easy to make laugh. <laughs> She's very capable, she's very professional, and she's very good. It's Hayley Turner at the Shergar Cup. Always immaculate, fit as a fiddle, determined to do well. Oh, well, that's nice. It's a Shergar Cup double for Hayley Turner. Mm. Hopefully now the standard of girls has risen so much, they'll just keep coming and coming now. She set the pace, she was the trendsetter, if you like. I always say to people, she's the most famous person you've never heard of. The horse looks well settled. And Hayley Turner, she's ridden a double here today. Keep it going, well done. It's difficult not to be very proud of her. So Hayley, 1,000 winners up. The only place to bring you was back home to here in Nottingham to celebrate, to have got to 1,000 in 23 years. How does that make you feel inside? Blimey, 23 years, gosh, it has been a long journey. When I started, I never dreamt that I would be where I am now. And I didn't really have anyone to look up to, to think, wow, that is, I can do this. So I've kind of paved the way. It's amazing seeing the difference in the weighing room now from when I first started. At the moment, there's such a huge amount of girls who are really good. You know, I know that they're going to be around for a long time and how easy they're doing it. These are her doing some posing. She'd be about two there. When she left school, she decided that um, she wanted to go down to Southall Stables and do some work there. She moved down there. She lived in a, um, a breeze block. I'm going to say shed, but it was called Barn 2, but it was nothing like a barn, but it had a bed in it. Yeah, good girl, aren't you? Are you feeling left out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is really much lady. I wouldn't say it was in squalor, but it was certainly rough and ready. But she seems to be able to put up with that because it was what she wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> You're grumpy, aren't you? She came from Mark Polglaze at Southall, and I remember what set her apart from the other girls I'd employed before is that, you know, when I went to leg her up, she vaulted on. Very few girls I know can vault on a horse. The way she rode, she rode work. She was always in rhythm could push one. She didn't stand out as female riding against men on the gallop, so I thought there's just something a bit different about you. And the hat trick on here for Hayley Turner and good enough mover, just run away with it. He won four lengths and it was a hands and heels race and so I didn't really have to get very heavy on him, you know, with a stick or anything. The winner's in front, I think Better Offer, who keeps going in front for Hayley Turner coming inside the final 100 yards. Better Offer is in front and going to win. I think the fact that she didn't stand out was probably key. She was just like any ordinary rider, really, or, or as good as any of the apprentices that were around at the, at the time. So she just fitted right in with the, what was going on at the time. So, um, you know, that's the kind of first idea you got that she was probably going to do something. Hayley Turner all smiles as she comes back in on quiet reading. Everyone was excited about her. First of all, she interviews well, she conducts herself well, so I think there was a momentum behind her to do well, and it was good for the racing industry to be promoting her. And the whole package was something that took off and gained momentum as she rode winners. And Brazilian Terrace has quickly put daylight between herself and her rivals, and he's going to win this in very, very good style. Brazilian Terrace has come home clear. What sacrifices do you feel that you have had to make to get to this point? You know, birthday parties, christenings, we, we can't do it because if you turn a ride down, they'll put someone else on and it's hard to get back in there. So it's the family have to put up with quite a lot as well. So this is Hayley and her sisters at uh, a posh do that we were at. 
everything's a problem because we can't get them together because of Haley's racing mainly. But when I had my 70th on Sunday, Haley made the effort to keep a calendar clear. So these times when we're together is quite special to me. The girls have to give up a lot more than the, the lads do. What's nice to see nowadays is that women are still having kids in their 40s. But it's very, it's very new, so it'll be interesting to see, see what happens. But I, I can't think it's going to be a massive problem if they wanted to have kids now. She set the pace, she was the trendsetter, if you like. For the likes of Holly and Safi, they'd have been looking at Hayley, sure enough, and, um, and thinking, I want to be where she is one day. She deserves every bit of success she's had through resilience, through talent, through all, all the qualities she's got. When I'm older, I'll look back and, and appreciate it a bit more. But whilst I'm still in the thick of things, you know, I just, you know, always want to just keep doing better. My arms are hurting me now. Well, that can't be much exercise. Of course it is. Just quick in shape. And Kells just has to be kept going here by Hayley Turner. Keep no, the ball rolling. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers. What makes me proud is seeing the lights of Safi and Holly, and from now it's only there's going to be more and more girls riding, and it's just nice to see. And the quality of the girls is just amazing.